Our story today is called The Wish Tree, and it's by Kyle McLaren. Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, there's no such thing. His sister said, there's no such thing. But Charles said, what do you think, Boggan? And Boggan thought, surely there was such a thing. So the next morning, Charles and Boggan set forth. His brother said, bring a map. His sister said, don't forget a compass. And Charles and Boggan were already on their way into the woods. La di da di da di da, sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggan. They had the whole day ahead of them and the whole day to find a wish tree. Up, up to the top of the hill they climbed and down, down to a frosty meadow they slid. Where Charles went, Boggan followed. Where Boggan went, Charles followed. Charles and Boggan did not see the wish tree, but they did see squirrel who was puzzling over how to get some hazelnuts to his home la di da di da di da di da sang charles wish sang boggan slow slow through the snow they went and hush hush past bear's den they crept where charles went boggan followed and where boggan went charles followed they did not see a wish tree anywhere but they did see beaver who was busy gathering birchwood to bring to his lodge La di da di da di da, sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggan. Slide, glide across the ice they slipped, past a few logs and around a bend. Where Charles went, Boggan followed, and where Boggan went, Charles followed. The wish tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find Fox, who was getting berries to her burrow. La di da di da di da di da, sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggan. Now they had less than half the day ahead of them. Less than half the day to find a wish tree. We may need to move a little faster, Boggan, said Charles. Charles and Boggan were moving very slowly now. Their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Boggan, Charles said, I am tired. I cannot search any longer. Shh, whispered Boggan. And when Charles awoke, it was snowing. It was snowing on squirrel and it was snowing on beaver and it was snowing on fox and it was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles could not see through the falling snow. But then he said, oh, look. See Boggan, said Charles, just as we thought. And Boggan said, Whish. Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around a branch of the wish tree. The snow was falling more gently now. The animals had prepared a night feast with hazelnut souffle, a pot of birch tea, and biscuits made of berries. Charles and Boggan celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. The moon was glowing brightly. La di da di da di da, sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggan, all the way home. And that is the end of our story.